everyone. My name is Ashton Wyatt, and um, I have been an artist for about several years now. I have my, I'm starting to build my own art portfolio on I, the iPad and my own website and business. Um, but anyway, I am very excited to teach you all how to draw a fox. So here is a little sample of what we're going to draw today. So we are going to start with the basics of Procreate. And um, so basically Procreate on the iPad is, it allows you to create anything you want digitally. So it's like having a piece of um, paper. So for instance, here's my piece of paper with my sketch on it, right? That can be turned digital, digitally on the iPad and you can add layers. With, um, so layers are, I will show you what layers are. So on your iPad on the corner, you have these two little boxes and each one has a layer. And so it's like, you know, how an art pad, you flip to the next page, right? So pretend those are layers on the iPad. So for instance, I have layer two in sketch and then uh, my sketch layer. And then if I wanna add a new layer, I just click this um, plus sign and it gives me layer three and so on. And then you can have the background color. And so you can choose the background. So it can be, let's say black or black is brown. And you see how it changed the, uh, the dimension and the quality of the fox. How cool is that? So without further ado, who's ready to learn how to draw a fox? I think I am. So I'm going to, going to actually delete this layer and then go back to white. Okay. So this is what we're going to draw today, okay? Um, so if you can see, we have the head and we have the body and we have the tail and we have the ears and the eyes, right? So on our iPad and we're going to go to Procreate and we're going to click on a new uh, blank document. So it's just like going to your art book and flipping on to a new uh, sketch page. And so we are using um, Procreate on the iPad. So what you wanna start first is make sure you have an Apple pencil or you can have another pencil like this um, with a little iPad belt, belt uh, to draw with. So what we're going to do first is we have this uh, tool brush right here called the paintbrush. And I don't know if y'all can see, there you go. So we're going to click on the uh, paintbrush and we're going to um, pick our 6B pencil, okay? So we click on that and it gives us all these options. So it's just like when you are sharpening your pencil, you have the option to sharpen soft or sharpen really hard, right? So we are just going to leave everything the same. Now, we have our layer one. We are going to label this. What you do is click on the blue layer and you say rename. And we are going to label it um, sketch. Just so we know what our layers look like at the end, correct? Okay. So now we're going to start with three circles. So this is just a rough sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we start with one circle. And the interesting thing about uh, Procreate, um, iPad on Procreate is that you can fix the shapes. So let me go back and show you. So I have a, a circle that's not really a circle, right? So I click the back arrow and delete it. And if I hold it down like that, it fixes it. So it completes a circle. So that's going to be the head. Actually, I'm going to make the head a little bit more longer. Like 
that. Okay, now we're going to add a second circle. So the second circle is going to be the body. So it's going to go right below and whoops. Right below, make it bigger than the head and fix it. And there's the body. So actually that's like the stomach of the fox. And now we have like the bottom of the fox, which is gonna be right here and fix it. So now we have one, two, three, three circles, okay? Now we are going to, so we're gonna look at our um, layer and it says sketch and we're going to go up to the arrow tool the arrow button right here. And that lets us make it smaller or larger, right? So we're going to make it a little smaller. So we have room for the ears and the tail. And then to exit out of this, we just click on the arrow. Now we add another layer, actually, I'm sorry, same layer. So we're going to add uh, the legs of the fox. So there's just going to be two long circles underneath the stomach, just like that, okay? And now we're going to add one more leg. That's the hind leg. And it's a flat circle, just like that. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six different circles for a fox. <laughs> and, um, to complete the body, we're just going to connect from the back leg all the way up to the head, just like that. So now you can see the body of the fox, right? Now we're going to add the head. We'll complete the head of the fox. So what I like to do is um, make a little bell shape around the head just like that. So you know how foxes have, they, they have those whisk, whiskers that come out. And then we're going to draw a line like underneath the chin, just like that. And then once we have the line, we're going to connect. And now this is just a sketch and then we're going to keep going further and make it prettier and uh, more colorful. Okay, so now that we have the sketch, we are going, actually, I have one more line to do. We're going to complete that line right there, just complete from the neck all the way down to the leg. Okay, so now we're going to add another layer. And this is going to be called, you're going to rename it. And the, what I like about Procreate is that you can be, you can make it simple, you can make it complicated. Um, and yes, if you don't have a Procreate installed yet, you can simply just use paper or pencil, just like I'm doing as well. Um, and so with Procreate, like I said before, you can make it simple, you can make it com uh, complex or really hard. I mean, the same thing. So I'm going to name this layer um, sketch number two, okay? And now we're going to click on the first layer and this little end on the side gives us so many options for our layers, right? So we have the opacity and we have the max. So this means, is it gonna be light or is it gonna be dark? And so I want it to be a little bit light so I can be able, so I can use my colors and trace it. And um, because we are layering up to the final product, right? So I have my opacity at 30, 39%, I believe. Okay, so now it, it doesn't quite look like a fox, but it will, trust me. So now what I want to do is go into my, um, my tool brush and we have, what Procreate also does, allows you to do is pick so many different types of brushes. 
and brush sets, right? So I have inking, I have drawing, I have painting, artistic, calligraphy, all these different types of um, uh, paint brushes. And so I'm going to pick inking and I'm going to pick studio pen. This is my favorite pen because it allows you to make different types of strokes, um, hard or light um, strokes. Okay, so now I'm just going to go over and I'm going to trace my sketch, right? And now on the paper, um, it's the same thing as using a Sharpie, right? And tracing over your, um, your sketch and then erasing the pencil marks, right? So this is when I want to be a little bit perfect, but not too much. So, um, whoops, we want to make our capacity, opacity the same and click on sketch number two. And now this opacity is at full, right? And then don't worry about any of the other um, categories. Okay, so click on my tool brush and now, here we go. Do you see the difference? It's kind of like a Sharpie, right? So I'm going to start over and I'm just going to very carefully choose the lines that I want to trace over. So just like that. And there you go. You have, whoop, is it not working? There you go. It's a little slow at first. Um, so then you want to, there you go, now it's here. So you keep going. So my box is going to be a little bit tiny and that's okay. So just keep adding the lines that you want to create. So here's my stomach and then here's, here are my feet. And then add that line here. And now we're going to, um, let's see, we're going to add the chin. So here's the chin. Whoop, my bad. Let's see. Brush size. What are you doing? Oh. So another thing is if you lose the color on the iPad, you can just click on um, the canvas and you see this plus with the big circle you go to the color and it's black. And so it reads the colors that you skipped, right? So now I'm back to black and I'm going to make my chin, okay? And now I'm going to add the ears. They can be big, they can be small, they can be round. Now it's looking like a box. And now I'm going to add the lines in the ears. There you go. And then I'm going to erase the bottom of the feet. And I'm going to add the little nubs on the bottom, just so they look like real um, feet on the fox. Now for the tail, the tail is a little bit tricky. Um, so I like to make a little, make an S shape just like that. And then draw another S shape like that. And then you always wanna make sure to connect the shapes. So when you go in and fill your shapes, um, it can, it doesn't fill the whole canvas. It just fills that shape, right? So now I'm filling in, well, not uh, completing the tail. And now here's the fun part. Well, in my opinion, I click on the layers and on the side right here are the, are the checkbox. And I like to click the checkbox and the sketch disappears. And this lets me see um, different, what I need to improve on my work. So I have a lot to improve. Um, so I like to click on the eraser up at the top and I'm just going to erase some of the lines 
that I have messed up so I can go back and fix them. So here's, I'm gonna fix this and fix that. And then make the chin smaller. There you go. And now I'm going to add the details of the face. So you have one line that goes, it's kind of like the eyebrows of the fox, right? And then I'm going to do one arch right here and another arch right there. And then we're gonna add the nose. So remember in the beginning how I said that the circle can fix, complete its shape. So here's my messed up circle. I connect it all the way. Whoop. Connect it all the way. And there it goes. You have your nose. And then I'm gonna add the little eyes on the side. One eye and the other eye. Just like that. And now I'm gonna add a little smile. Whoop. And then with the lines, um, you can uh, make it big or small. So I'm gonna make size about size 11 for the mouth. Whoop. Here I go with the color. And there you go. And see how it like fixed the, the smile. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to add the little line from the top bottom of the nose to the mouth, just like that. Okay. Oh, I see a mistake down below. So I'm going to uh, erase this part of the foot. Whoop. Not all the way. Erase, erase. There you go. And I'm still not liking the chin, so I'm just probably going to leave it out just like that. And I think I'm going to make the triangles more upward so it looks more happy. Um, so I'm gonna erase the sides. Click on the toolbrush again. I'm still in the same layer. And then, oh. I got to go back and make it bigger. And then there's one. I mm, don't really like that. One and two. And then erase the lines again. So it's just trial and error, trial and error. Mm, not really, hmm, not really the fox I was looking for. Let's see. So I'm still erasing, 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 right? This is the part where you want to be um, precise and you want to uh, carefully look, right? So actually, let's just do, there we go. <laughs> There's our thoughts. And then connect it. I didn't need those little triangles, that's for sure. And now I'm going to connect the eyebrows, and then we're going to fill in the circle, okay? So what I do is I go up to my black dot right up here. I click on it and I drag it and I go fill it in just like that. And then I do it on the other side. So that's another great thing about iPad um, Procreate is you don't have to physically color in each section like you do on a paper, right? You can just go to the corner and drop. So it's like always, so it's a lot of drag and drop, drag and drop, right? And now I'm gonna do the same thing for the nose. And now here comes the fun part. Um, so we're going to add another layer. We're going to add the colors now. Okay. We're going to click add layer. And we are going to put the layer behind sketch number two. So we hold on to layer three, drag it under sketch two. And that way we can color 
and not worry about going outside of the lines. Um, so for coloring, we are going to add some texture. So what I like to do is go to my uh, tool brush and go to, let's see. Um, artist, no, I like to go to painting. Oh no, airbrushing. Airbrushing and click on hard brush. It's already there. Go to my color and we're going, you can do any color you want. So I'm going to do a little orange. And then, so what's cool about the inner circle is that this is like all, like it goes from light to dark. So here's light orange. And then oh, here's- Excuse me, uh, sorry, Ashton, um, Ivy is raising her hand. Ivy, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to put it down. <laughs> oh. From earlier when I was asking the name. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> Same. We'll be ready for next class, and we'll try to see if we can draw this. Is after. Awesome. Yes, yeah, everything will be in the chat. Um, in the, in the chat for you. Okay. So now, um, we're going to pick our color. So I'm going to do like this burnt orange, right? And I'm already on hard brush and. Instead of dragging and dropping the color, I like to um, just color it in. And so I realized this is gonna take me a little while. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger, right? So there you go. And see, it's okay if you go out of the lines. So I'm coloring this. Okay, and now I'm gonna click the eraser, zoom in, make it little tiny, and I'm going to just take all the extra color out that I don't need, just like that. Almost done. Okay. So now we have our color and for the body. And now we're going to add a little light, a light color for the face. And I think I'm going to go to my tool brush and go to watercolor on the side. Um, so that will be under painting and watercolor is at the bottom. Now remember, Procreate already has all the brushes for you. And if you want to add more brushes, you can go to the app store and uh, download more brushes. So now I'm going to zoom in again. And I'm just going to try and make it all one shape. So I don't have any layering just like that. And now I'm going to fill it in and I'm going to add the texture. And I'm going to do it one more time. So this is the forehead. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the ears. And it's okay if you are out of the lines. Make it a little 3D on the color. Just like that. And now I'm going to erase the excess, when the extra, I meant. Okay, just like that. And I think we're gonna leave the face, I think we're gonna make it a little darker. So just like that. There we go. Now it's looking like a fox. So here's one layer. And now I'm going to add another layer to make it darker. And even more darker, there you go. And another thing I like about Procreate is that you can use this um, tool up here called the finger and it allows you to blend the colors together, just like that. 
Um, the best iPad I recommend, um, I have the iPad 6 generation. Um, any iPad works, honestly. You can do the iPad mini. Um, I also use iPad on my, the Procreate on my phone as well. Um, uh, whenever I'm like on the plane and or traveling or in the car, I like to draw on my phone. Um, so any device that has, that lets you download uh, Procreate will be good. So now I'm going to go back to the, go to the tail and I'm going to do a darker color. So I'm going to do this one and minimize the size and just fill it in. And then just um, do it again and don't worry if it goes outside the line. And we're almost done. Going to take an eraser, do the excess. And then I think I'm going to erase and make a little eyeball right here. Oh, go back to that layer, go to sketch two, and make a little eyeball for the eye. Oh, it's not working. Go to white. Oh, and uh, these are called color palettes. So all these right here, all different types of color palettes already within Procreate. So you have campfire, all different types. So I'm clicking on the white. Why are you not letting me? Go to sketch two, there you go. Click on calligraphy, go to monoline, and then add a little eyeball in the eye. And last but not least, we're going to go to our layers and we are going to compile all the layers together. So you want to make sure the first layer is blue and then you just swipe and swipe and the background is already swiped and you want to go up to the top and click on group. And then you want to click on next to sketch two. And you want to say you want it to uh, flatten. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to click on the arrow to compile it more. Click on flatten, and there you go. You have your fox. There you go. I'm going to make it bigger and then exit out. And there it is. Not the same as before, but all art is different every time. Um, but there, yes, uh, like Yulia said, there are a lot of other programs you can do. Um, using digital art, using desktop or laptop. Um, just look in the chat below. Uh, Procreate is, uh, I believe, only $10 one time only, and you, you don't have to pay anything else after that. Um, it's like the best, it's the best app I purchased on the iPad because I've made my own business with it and um, I can do anything with it. So um, thank you so much for joining my class today. And thank you, Ashton. Yes. yes, thank you everyone for joining today. Uh, it was very nice uh, to have you today. So if you have any questions regarding uh, digital art, Procreate or other classes, we also have different coding classes, chess, math, uh, languages, visit our website, Kizzy Coders Club or kizzyschool.online and sign up for trial sessions, okay? So uh, see you, we'll be sending to everyone this recording and 